Hey, welcome back, folks. 1225 on your Wednesday afternoon. You're taking a live look from Sky 5 Westico, and the sun's starting to peek through just a little bit. Those clouds are starting to break up, but take a look at the high-resolution satellite. This is actually the GO-16. Now, the really cool thing about the GO-16 is it actually shows you different layers of the clouds. So while we have the sun starting to peek through just a little bit, we're not going to see it completely because we have different layers of the clouds. So our low clouds are starting to break up, but the high clouds are still there. Now, when the sun starts to peek through, we start to heat up just a little bit. 74 in Rio Grande City, 72 in McAllen and Edinburgh, 71 in Westlake, Raymondville, Harlingen, Port Isabel, and even Brownsville sitting at 71 degrees. So it's pretty fresh out there. It's feeling pretty cool. We lucked out. We have no humidity. The humidity is sitting at around 53 degrees, and when we have the humidity in the 50s, it makes for basically the perfect day. It's not too dry out there, but it's also not muggy. Well, we're dry today as far as precipitation is concerned, and then 30% chance tomorrow. Now, anything that pops up tomorrow will be short-lived. It's not going to be anything heavy, anything widespread. You might have to carry the umbrella, but only in the afternoon, and then we dry out on Friday. On the water, well, it's a very nice day for boating. Winds are out of the east at 10 to 15 knots. Your bay water is at a light chop. Your next tide is a high tide at 4.22 p.m., and the seas are at 1 to 3 feet. Now, the winds everywhere else are pretty calm. There is a wind gust in Harlingen, but check this out. All the winds are out of the east right now, so it's bringing some more moisture into our atmosphere, that gulf moisture. But we're going to get a wind shift, and we're already seeing that in McAllen from the east to southeast. So when we get that wind shift, check this out, the clouds start to come back. Thursday, 7 a.m., Thursday morning, we're going to start off very cloudy. Now, Thursday at noon, that's when those scattered showers start to pop up. And the closer to the coast that you get, the more likely it is that you're going to experience those showers Thursday, 4 p.m., Raymondville, the Harlingen area, Cameron and Willacy counties are going to get more spotty showers than the Star County, Hidalgo County area. So today, high of around 74, mostly cloudy all day. Like we mentioned earlier, the sun is peeking through just a little bit, but we're not going to see it completely. No rain, low humidity makes for a pretty perfect day. Winds out of the northeast this morning, but they're currently shifting from the east to southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, we cool down to around 61. I don't think you're going to need a light jacket, but if you're like me and you're kind of a wimp when it gets into the 60s, then yeah, grab that light jacket. It will become overcast as the night goes on into tomorrow morning, but no rain or fog, so it should be a pretty nice night. Your seven-day forecast, well, we heat up just a little bit tomorrow. High of around 75 isolated showers. And then Friday, that's our big heat up, but take a look at Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Highs are all in the 90s, so we are going to be sitting unseasonably warm Saturday, Sunday, and Monday until another cold front comes through Monday in the evening. Now, when that cold front comes through for Tuesday, well, that's the first day of spring, so that should be around our normal high temperature at 81 for Tuesday. But Monday's kind of a question mark of whether or not we're going to hit 93 or actually be above that 93 degree temperature that we're forecasting right now. We're going to continue tracking that next front for you, and that's your first Warn 5 forecast.